Today we are going to explain the necessary steps to start using the InfraMarker system. For the purposes of this video, it is assumed that the full InfraMarker package has been purchased and licensed and you have already been provided a username and password combination. The necessary equipment begins with an Android phone which is not provided in the InfraMarker package. The phone's minimum operating system must be Android version 4 or higher. In this example, we have a Samsung Galaxy S5. The phone must also come installed with GPS functionality, Bluetooth capability, and wireless connectivity. For the InfraMarker system to operate properly in outdoor environments, we also recommend that the phone has a data plan from a cellular carrier with a 3G or 4G network. The second necessary component is a Windows-based computer which is not provided in the InfraMarker package. This computer must have a minimum of Windows 7 operating system and is necessary to view the InfraMarker web-based application. This app will run on Windows Internet Explorer version 11 or higher and Google Chrome version 38 or higher. We recommend using a mouse to best navigate the various Google Maps that are used extensively by the InfraMarker system. After purchasing the InfraMarker package, you will receive an RFID reader writer such as this. Additionally, you will receive RFID-enabled InfraMarker tags such as these. To begin using the InfraMarker web-based component, open your web browser and navigate to www.inframarker.com. Press the Login button. Enter the username and password that you were provided earlier. Also, if you wish, agree to allow your computer's location to be monitored so that the application can function efficiently. This should enable you to begin using the InfraMarker web application. For further tutorials on asset management using the web app, please see our other video tutorials at www.inframarker.com. If you are unable to log in properly, please contact your InfraMarker provider for further instructions. To begin using the InfraMarker mobile application, you must prepare your phone for use. The phone must have a Google or Gmail account installed. This allows the phone to connect with the Google Play Store. Google Maps application must also be installed on the phone. Typically, your phone's provider will have preloaded both of these features when the phone was purchased. For more detailed instructions, please consult your phone's provider. Check your settings to make sure that the wireless network feature is turned on. Make sure that the GPS or location feature is turned on. And make sure that the Bluetooth feature is turned on and that your phone is visible to other devices' Bluetooth antenna. For more detailed instructions, please consult your phone's provider. Next, use Google Play Store to download and install the InfraMarker mobile app. Agree to all necessary terms and conditions. Now that the InfraMarker mobile app has been installed on your phone, you can begin by logging into the application. Press the InfraMarker icon. This opens the application with the main map appearing on the screen. To log into the system, you must press the icon with the three horizontal lines near the upper left of the application screen. This opens the settings screen. Press the login button. Enter your username and password and press login. Once logged into the InfraMarker mobile app, you can view cloud-based assets and their details. However, you must first connect your phone via Bluetooth with the provided RFID reader writer in order to read and write physical tags. Begin by pressing either the read icon or the write icon. In this case, we will press the read icon. This opens the app screen for reading physical tags. Press the device icon. Press the scan for devices button. Press the trigger on the RFID reader writer and the Bluetooth light will begin to flash. The first time the phone and RFID reader writer try to Bluetooth pair, you will receive a request to allow the pairing to happen. Press OK. Press the device that you wish to Bluetooth connect with and the read screen reappears with the proper device listed. Once the device field is populated, you can begin reading tags and writing tags. For further tutorials on reading and writing tags, please see our other video tutorials at www.inframarker.com. After you have completed your work session, you can leave the application by pressing the Android phone's back button. However, in order to turn off the Bluetooth connection to the reader writer, you must completely stop the InfraMarker application. Press the Applications List button. Swipe the InfraMarker App button to the left or right and the application will completely close. You will see that the Bluetooth light on the reader writer goes from constant blue to flashing. The reader writer will quickly turn itself off unless reconnected. 
Some phones and phone operating systems function differently, so you may have to consult your phone's provider if necessary. This concludes the tutorial for getting started with the InfraMarker system. For more instructional videos, please visit www.inframarker.com.